Uvalde's police chief is out. It's been less than a week since the city of Uvalde released its independent investigation into the shooting at Robb Elementary. And today we learned that Daniel Rodriguez turned in his resignation letter. If you remember, the city's report found no wrongdoing by any of the Uvalde officers that responded on May 24, 2022. That report expected to be a topic during tonight's city council meeting. That's right. So now we want to give you a live look at the city council meeting. You can see that everyone all, it looks like all the council members are there. It's expected to start officially in the next few minutes. John Paul Barajas in Uvalde tonight with what we can expect from tonight's city council meeting and what the city is saying about the police chief's resignation. Uvalde Police Chief Daniel Rodriguez announced his resignation this afternoon. It comes at a time of frustration for the community as families are still reeling from Thursday's release of an independent investigation into Rob Elementary shooting. Now, it is important to note that Chief Rodriguez was on vacation on that day, but it still has many people asking why he's resigning now. The chief's letter reads in part, after deep contemplation and consideration, I believe it is time for me to embrace a new chapter in my career. We have achieved significant progress and milestones, and I take pride in the positive impact we've made during my tenure." End quote. Rodriguez will end his 26-year career with Uvalde Police, effective April 6th. Uvalde Mayor Cody Smith said in a release that he was grateful for Rodriguez's years of service. Assistant Chief Homer Delgado will serve as interim chief until the city hires Rodriguez as replacement. As for the independent investigation, it is planned to be spoken on by community members tonight and families who spoke with Uvalde City officials told KSAT that the possibility of discussing disciplinary actions could also happen tonight. We'll have the latest at 10 o'clock in Uvalde. John Paul Barajas, KSAT 12 News.